morning and welcome everyone to our first ever virtual client conference. First and foremost, we really hope that everybody is staying healthy and doing as well as you possibly can be during this difficult time. We didn't anticipate having this event virtual, um, but we are excited to be here. We're, we're happy that we were able to pivot and rather than cancel the event, shift it from a physical event in Texas to now our virtual event online. So we have a pretty packed two days for everybody here. Uh, our main goal was really to replicate what we would have offered in Texas. Uh, unfortunately, we're not on the river walk, but we are all still here. And so we'll make the best of it. Um, and we have a full two days for everybody here. We're gonna kick today off with a welcome address from our CEO, Ian Goldman. Ian will be speaking about looking at the bright side. Then we have two keynote speakers. We have uh, Paul Erickson kicking us off today and he'll be speaking about planning for recovery in the year of the coronavirus. And then tomorrow we'll kick off with another keynote focused on developing a truly client focused organizational culture. Depending on the sessions you selected, um, everybody's schedule will be slightly different. We really did want to keep all of our same breakout sessions. So we had over 35 sessions available, different uh, new feature sessions, hardware workshops showing the new point of sale and new payment devices that we support, training sessions, focus groups, best practices, just a ton of sessions overall. So depending on what you registered for will depend of course on your schedule. I encourage everybody to take your phone, take a quick picture of this slide or just a pen and paper and write it down. Um, but these two gentlemen, they're on my marketing team. And so we have Kevin on the left and Rob on the right. For those of you who have been to our events in the past, you know these two gentlemen. But any, any question, issue, concern, even if you just want to change your schedule, anything like that, you can reach out to either of these two gentlemen. Um, I also want to give kudos to both of them, especially Kevin as our event coordinator. Uh, Kevin has worked really hard in the last five or six weeks to flip this entire event from the physical to the virtual. And so kudos for that and we thank you uh, and everything hopefully will go really well. Okay, so what I wanna do next is give everybody a tour of our event software. So hopefully everybody poked around a little bit, um, but I will walk you through it just to make sure. So we have four main sections here and you can jump into each of these through this main area or you can go in through the top header. So I'm going to jump into sessions. And so right now we are in the introduction and welcome address. And then at 1030, everyone will move into the keynote. So at 1030, you'll click here and you don't see it yet, but at 1030, there's gonna be a big button here that says join now. That's the button you'll wanna hit at 10.30, it'll put you right into our keynote presentation. After that is over, the first breakout session starts at 11.30. My breakout is promotions and markdowns, but everybody's will be different based on what you registered for. But when you click on this, again, you'll see our team member. In this case, it's Terrence, one of our implementation managers. And at 11.30, there'll be a button here that says join now. You'll just click on that button. It's going to put you right into the go-to meeting. All of our team members will have their web cameras on, will be in Celerant shirts. Um, so I really encourage each of you to turn on your web camera as well, if you have one. Uh, this way it can be as interactive as possible. If there's any issues with the join now button, we did also include the go-to meeting information here and the call-in number. I recommend you use your laptop audio, but of course you can use your phone as well, whatever you're more comfortable with. So next, let's go into the sponsor showcase. So this is all of our partners. Um, so last night, unfortunately, not being in Texas, we didn't have our cocktail party with our open bar and our reserves and all of that, but we do still have all of our partners here participating. And I encourage everybody to visit with our partners and how you do that is you click into this section. Each partner has a booth, a virtual booth. And so let's look at global payments. Just click visit. Global payments, of course, is open edge. Our, our payment processing partner. And so when you're in their virtual booth, you can watch their video. And then there's downloadable resources down here, different things, more videos that you can watch, whether it's a client success story or uh, just collateral or, or brochures. Uh, also, some partners are doing promotions. For example, Open Edge is giving away some payment devices. So you'll want to check that out uh, for, any new, uh, for any new clients to Open Edge. Also, each partner will be raffling off 
a gift. And so Open Edge is having a $250 Amazon gift card. Now, in order to participate in the raffle, you're going to need to interact with the partner. So you can either do that by filling out a live chat down here, or you can send an inquiry, which would be an email, and that will go to all of the team members that the partner has working their booth. And in this case, it's Kelly, Sherry, and Richard. So stop by, say hello, and chat with Open Edge. Um, also, our other partners are here as well. I just want to look at Avalara. So Glenn, you'll, you'll click visit, and here's Avalara's booth. So Avalara is raffling off a $200 gift card to Amazon, uh, but they're also doing something pretty cool. Uh, whomever wins this prize will get a $200 gift card for themselves, and then they'll also donate $100 to either the CDC Foundation's Emergency Response Fund or Feeding America, and the winner can choose which uh, charity. So kudos on that. I love that. Next is the discussions board. So up here, you'll see this area that says discussions. Just click on that, and you can just type anything. There's nothing here yet. Um, but anybody can start a discussion. It can be a client, you know, a retailer, or it could be a seller and team member or a partner. Just be mindful, this is public, so everybody will see what you write. Um, but you can ask a question, you can start a conversation, and the seller and team members will jump in, other clients will jump in. The, the biggest benefit, I mean, in my opinion, of our client conference is that opportunity to network, not just with us at Salarin, but also with each other, with our other retail clients. And so this discussion board is a great way to still be able to do that. So next we'll look at the resource section. So in each of your breakout sessions, you'll be able to download the materials applicable to that session, but you've only signed up for about eight sessions. So in this area, you can download all of the materials from every session that we have available. We also have this COVID-19 resource portal. So I'll click on that. And we have a ton of information in here that you can check out to help you navigate through COVID-19. Um, last week, we did a webinar. We hosted a webinar. Z Kamzani, our Director of Web Services, Ray Weiner, one of our senior sales executives, and myself, we hosted this webinar called How Retailers Are Adapting in Difficult Times. So if you missed it, you can come right in here and click on this, and the, the YouTube video link will pop up. I will warn you, it's an hour long, so uh, you'll want to watch it in between or even just copy the link and, and you can watch it at another time. But additionally, in here, we have a lot of our blogs, tips, and different things that we've put together here at Celerant to help our clients get through COVID, but also um, we invited all of our partners to send their resources as well. So there's a lot of different stuff in here that can help. Uh, so you'll definitely want to check out that area. This last section here called More, if you click on who's online, so right now you see just a handful of people, um, but once everybody's on, you'll see every single participant here on the screen, whether they are a client, a seller and team member, a partner, and all you have to do is click on their name and you can start a private chat, uh, which won't be viewed by everybody, that would be private, or send a message, uh, which would be an email. So it's a really great way to just communicate with any of our team members as well as other clients. You know, that's, that's always the best, probably the best part of our conference is the opportunity to network, not just with us, but also with other clients. And so this is our way um, to, to be able to still do that, even though this is a virtual event. And then we have our event support. And so again, this is where you'll see Kevin and Rob uh, with both their phone numbers and their emails. So if you need any assistance at all throughout the entire two days, you can, you can call them and their information is here. And with that, I would like to introduce uh, Ian Goldman, our president and CEO. Ian will be talking about looking at the bright side, um, really adjusting to our new normal now, moving through COVID-19 and of course beyond. Welcome to our first and hopefully only virtual user conference. This conference comes at a unique time, one in which we are not only faced with a typical changing landscape of retail, but now we are faced with a global pandemic, where most of us are locked in our homes and we need to try to predict what retail and all of the other selling channels will look like on the other side of this worldwide event. Last year, I opened up the conference talking about the challenges of the greatest generation who had to overcome the World War II era challenges. This year, I feel like one of them. At times of great challenge, 
there is sometimes comfort in looking at situations with even greater levels of challenge, where people overcame. This year, I'm having a hard time finding that circumstance to point to. It would be very easy to discuss all of the difficulties going on right now. But really, that's what the 24-hour news cycle is about, and we don't need any more of that. What I do want to talk to you about is some of the things that were really not the first things on my mind when this thing hit, and not really what I thought I would be thinking about. When we started seeing the various states placing stay-at-home orders on people, we figured we might just have to turn off the lights, lock the doors, and just wait this thing out. But something interesting happened. We found all of these clients who closed their stores, who had previously ordered or started on websites months ago, but were dragging it out due to busy schedules and everyday life. Suddenly, all of these people happened to have some free time. We are putting up more websites now than we have ever done and faster than we ever have before. We have a sportsman retailer who went live and within the first two weeks already sold $200,000 in orders. We have a women's apparel retailer who work with us aggressively to create and launch their website in two short weeks, even going live with only PayPal, since we launched the site faster than they could finalize their online credit card processing. An urban retailer of ours is putting more focus on their website now more than ever before, and as a result, sold thousands of Nike sneakers in just one weekend. And some of those businesses who might never have completed a real e-commerce site or put their attention to it that it really needed, will now reopen their stores in a week or a month or two and be supported by an e-commerce presence in full force. If not for COVID-19, most of these sites would never have existed. Some businesses have actually increased sales. Yes, certain industries in times of crisis do seem to prosper or even excel. Having an entire country confined to their home seems to accelerate certain industries. Others, though, have had to close stores, but are now changing their operations to be more web-focused and contactless with things like curbside pickup. Their sales may not be what they were before this thing started, but perfecting that process will only help them on the other side of this crisis. I have a feeling that social distancing and how that translates into commerce, such as e-commerce and curbside pickup, won't just go away with politicians ordering states open for business. These businesses will now have the edge over those that didn't prepare. At Celerant, we are moving quickly to support our clients' efforts and create new technology, such as curbside, a curbside app to help streamline these processes. In the weeks leading up to this pandemic, our team created a new app that enables your customers to select curbside pickup on your website, enter their mobile number, get a text message when the order is ready for pickup, Click a link within the text message when they arrive at your curb, and your associate is notified that they are waiting outside. These efforts will help you now, but also as we move past this pandemic, as your consumers' buying patterns will surely change. Personally, this experience has also been a challenge. Certainly, working at home when you are used to being in an office is an adjustment. It can be very distracting, and without the energy of your team around you, it can be demotivating. Zoom calls a summer relief, but not the same thing. But now I have dinner with my family every night. There isn't a whole lot to do besides cook, so they are some of the better meals I've had in recent memory. I even have lunch with my kids many days. This really didn't happen before COVID. My wife had to cut my hair. She doesn't know how to hide the gray like my regular guy. But maybe I'll save $20 a month after this is over. Nobody made any comments yet. I probably look the same to all of you. The other week, my little seven-year-old, while running from room to room, stopped me on the chair, grabbed me by the neck, gave me a big kiss, and then ran away off to whatever it was she was doing. That's been happening every couple of days. Once I go back to work, I guess that won't be happening anymore. My wife found the website with freelance teaching. So my kids take these Zoom classes during some of the downtimes. It's not quite soccer or ballet, but I see them trying all kinds of artistic skills. They're acting and testing me on all sorts of historical and scientific facts 
at the end of the day. It may not be regular school, but they are doing things that they just wouldn't have time for during the normal school year. And they seem more well-rounded in these few short weeks than at any time during normal school. So there are definitely some challenges we are facing, but there are definitely some things we are going to remember and maybe even miss when we get back to normal. And most importantly, there are definitely some things we are going to learn to take forward with us. This conference is usually about learning new things. More than ever this year, it will be about sharing, maybe some commiserating, but also sharing the new innovations and ideas that we all have come up with to help us now and when life returns to the way we remember it. We may not be physically together in Texas as planned, but we are still here together. And hopefully tomorrow we can all share a laugh and a drink at our virtual happy hour. We thank you for coming and we look forward to seeing you again next year back on the Riverwalk. Have a great conference. Thank you, Ian. So I just wanted to take a minute and thank our partners, um, not just for their participation in our virtual event, but really for their partnerships all year long. It's because of our integrations with each other that we can really bring the most value to our, to our shared clients. So I encourage each and every one of our clients to visit our partner booth during the virtual event over the next two days. It could be in between sessions, before or after, um, but engage with the partners either through live chat or through email. And as soon as you do so, you'll automatically be entered to win one of their raffles. And we have quite a few really great raffles. You can see them all up here on the screen. Um, so again, I encourage you just to say hello and participate in the raffles. And speaking of awesome partners, um, now I'd like to introduce Paul Erickson, who comes to us from Management One. Uh, we worked with Paul for many, many years, and Management One offers open to buy and merchandise planning services. Um, but this morning, Paul's not talking specifically about open to buy. Instead, he is opening our session with our first keynote uh, focused on planning for recovery in the year of the coronavirus. And so just a quick reminder how you'll get to the next session is you see how I have it circled here. Just click on 1030 and you'll see keynote planning for recovery in the coronavirus. Uh, click on that and at 1030, not before, but at 1030, there's going to be a button there that says join. Click on that and that'll put you right into Paul's session. During the next two days, I personally will be hopping in and out of a bunch of sessions. But if I don't see you personally, I hope to see everybody back here tomorrow at five o'clock, cocktail in hand for our virtual happy hour. Hope you guys all have a great conference. See you tomorrow.